I would not succeed. There's guilt on, on both sides of the aisle. Brittany? I think there are historic structural inequalities yes. created by the U.S. government that have literally come over a long period of time, we're talking centuries, that have created structural inequalities and differences. And that's on a macro level. If we want to talk on a micro level, we can talk about what it means to have social capital, right? So say, for example, if I'm coming from, you know, an upper class community and I have a certain type of diction, what, and my name is Brittany, how people are going to interact with me is going to be very different depending on, you know, if I'm using the African American vernacular and Ebonics, if I'm dressed with a hoodie and my pants are sagging down or even looking at my skin complexion the reality is we might say okay I don't see race I identify as a person not a black person that does not affect the way that the world sees me when I enter into a space because people certainly can identify or can identify me as a black person we can't escape that and we certainly can't escape the social and historical inequalities that have created yeah. you know the realities that we live in today there are extreme differences well you know